Thank you. Wow. This speech tonight is my trailer to hopefully lead to my movie. So if you like it, you can give me the fun thumbs up and I will know that I should go forward with making my Hollywood film or documentary. This is about my, my experience where I lost my husband. He died in, in his sleep while I was on a business trip. And he, after I lost him, I went on a transformational journey to find my courage and self-love. And this is one of the things that happened. Bring, 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 no answer. Bring, 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 no answer. Bring, 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 no answer. Oh, I called all my friends and nobody's answering. I'm so terrified. I need them to talk to me down off the ledge. I'm going kite surfing and I had to sign five places that if I die, they will not sue, my family will not sue the company. I'm terrified. I open my garage door and I hear a voice. It's God. You called everyone but me. Why didn't you call me? Well, I, I was afraid and I didn't think you could help me with that. What are you afraid of? Well, I'm afraid of dying and I'm not supposed to or 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 getting injured and, and living like an invalid for the rest of my life. I'm terrified. Are you afraid of looking bad? Looking bad? No, no, no. My ego is not involved. I just want to survive today. Good, because that could get you killed. Wow, God had never talked to me that way before. I thought again, am I afraid of looking bad? Well, I'm going to change my belief system so that every time I'm afraid, I'm afraid of looking bad, I actually go towards it and, and save my life because I'm terrified that I'm going to, to die because I'm afraid of looking bad. So I drive down to the bay to get into the 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 bay and i'm on the back of the jet ski i'm holding on for dear life to my instructor with my nose buried in his head and i'm screaming the entire time because i'm terrified we finally get to the kite surfing and there were four times if i hadn't listened to god's instructions i would have died first one i didn't hear the instructions to put away the kite i said i didn't hear and I had to ask again. Then the instructor told me not to move my legs. And I moved my legs. And I got my, my legs tangled up in the rope. And then he told me to, told me to hold on to the kite, uh, the rope on the kite. And if I did let go, I could power up and I could be killed. And then the last one, I had to call him over to untie me. I had to lean back and throw up my legs in the air. And then he could untie my rope. That I was tied like a cattle around my ankles. Well, we got back to the to the land, and I kissed the land. And I was starving. I wanted to go to my favorite sushi restaurant, but I thought my hair is like blonde dreadlocks, and I look like something the cat dragged in. I can't go there looking like that. I was afraid of looking bad. Mm. So. I took God's advice and I went towards it and I said, I'm going to go. I went and thankfully the sushi bar was empty. And so I talked to my sushi chef and I was telling him all about my adventures and the harrowing ghastly experience that I had just experienced when I felt somebody looking at me. And I looked over and there was a, a table with six men staring at me with googly eyes. In that moment, I realized even though I my hair was a mess, I looked like something the cat dragged in, I never looked more alive and therefore more beautiful in my entire life. So if you want to hear more of the stories, I hope you'll vote for me so that my Hollywood producers will make a movie or a documentary based on my experience. 
back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>